Well, we're going to start out with our very first guest, which is Bill Monroe, and you all know him. He just comes on every year to talk about the Scottish Games. And uh, take it away, Bill. What are you playing? We're playing a tune called the Rowan Tree. Okay, good. We're we'll hear you now. <laughs> Mic'd up, Bill, and uh, I love the bagpipes. And I understand Scotia Glenville Youth Group uh, actually won in Scotland first prize. Is that correct? That is correct. They won the uh, juvenile Let me get novice you. first prize in the World Championships in Glasgow, Scotland. Isn't what that an bad? accomplishment that is, huh? Yeah, and we're having one of the uh, pipers uh, come on the show in October. Oh, that's great. It was great. A, it's a gal, and she's, uh, uh, I guess, a high school student. We're going to find out more about that. Oh, that's terrific. I'm going to give you a little quiz today. Is that okay? I'm, I'm ready. Ready for a quiz. <laughs> I'm going to give you some ingredients, and you tell me what it is. Oh, boy. One sheep's stomach, yeah. one sheep's heart, two pounds of sheep's liver, three pounds of leaps, sheep's lungs, one cup of pearl barley, uh, two cups of coarse oatmeal, two, two cloves of garlic. We have to throw a little garlic in there. Salt, pepper, and a pound of onions. What, are my, what am I making? Now, wouldn't you love to have some of that haggis? <laughs> <laughs> That's haggis. Yes. He got it right. <laughs> haggis. What is it? We know what goes in it. What do you do? Do you eat it? Oh, yeah. You eat it. Uh, it has a... A kind of a, um, a rep some people love it. I'm one of them who love it. Good. Many people do not love it. Well, after it's cooked, I'm sure it's good. <laughs> <laughs> we have a, uh, a, a tongue in cheek kind of a, a event at There's the Scottish There's tongue in cheek in here? <laughs> 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 Called, uh, I missed that. Called the haggis. Oh, okay. So they get on a whiskey barrel and they uh, have to throw it as far as they can. Oh, okay. And um, there are a lot of little things that go along with that contest. So you have to be in a kilt, you have to stand on a whiskey barrel. And there are implements that they use to make sure they're properly dressed in the kilt and so on and so forth. So <laughs> well, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. I think the Scots have a lot of fun. <laughs> they <would> do. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to find out if we go to the Scottish Games. Where do you what? I says, and we'll find that out oh, when absolutely. we go to the yeah, Scottish absolutely. Games. Absolutely, yeah. And that's at the Altamont Fairground. Yep. And tell us, what, what are the games? Well, the games are, they, they take place throughout the whole world. Uh, in Schenectady, they started in 1939, run by the Clan McRae at the old railroad locomotive park. And um, they ran them until 1968. We took over in uh, 78. And uh, we've been running it since then. This is our 35th year running the Schenectady Pipe Band. wonderful, yeah. And um, but basically what they are is a competitive event, a lot of competitions, including the, the uh, athletic competitions, which are seven heavy events, one of which probably the most uh, recognized one is where the you caber. toss the caber. You try and take a, a telephone pole that's about probably about 20, 21 feet long and weighs about 120, 130 pounds. And, and it's weighted, end end. it's an unbalanced weight. That's right, all well, the weight is on the top. And, yeah. the, and the idea is to flip it over so that if you threw it here, it would hit the ground and land facing that way at 12 o'clock and you'd have a perfect throw. So the athletic events are part of it. Then the Highland dancing, we have dancers from- We've got some photos, so we'll take a look at the photos. Yep. I think we show some of the Highland dancers there. Yep, they um, come from uh, throughout the, the Northeast and uh, Canada to compete for um, medals and prizes. And we have this, of course, the pipe band contest. Which and, that's, is, and that's it. Which, there's, there's the, the sword dance, dance yeah. right there. Yep, yep. We have a video to show. Yep, we're going to show the video too. And uh, at the opening, well, the, the pipe band competitions take place all day long, as well as individual pipers and drummers performing. Okay, and here's the video. And this is the opening ceremonies where we start the whole day off at around 11.30. And the Sergecki Pipe Band leads the, uh, the parade of tartans in. All the clans come in their clan garb with their clan banners and their clan yells and everything else. And they march through uh, 
out in front of the audience on the grandstand, and then we uh, the, the pipe band plays for a little while to welcome the crowd. We play Amazing Grace and some of the favorites oh, that they like to so hear. Talk about chills, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, from that point on, the day goes, uh, the day starts, and we have competition throughout the day. A lot of entertainment, also. One of the uh, one of the most uh, watched events is the, is the Scottish Breed Dog Show, which had there are eleven Scottish breeds of dogs, and they they go through this obstacle course and they have to go through tunnels and jump through hoops and go over a seesaw and things like that. And they have their own athletic games. They, they do, is right. <laughs> right. And it's really just, it's so much fun to watch. Do they do the sheep herding? I mean, because they- Do we have sheep dogs with, uh, with their, their caller? Yep. Yeah, I mean, that is amazing. Yeah. Just by the whistles, oh, they get them, them going. They know it exactly right. where to go. Uh, and let's tell us about your tartan. This is the uh, Monroe tartan, this family tartan. Okay. It's uh, called the ancient Monroe. It's kind of a muted color. There's also a modern Monroe, which is more red and yellow than, okay. than this one here. And uh, tartans are there to identify clans in Scotland is what they now, are. Now, uh, one of the things I found very interesting going to, well, I saw a lot of things interesting, but the fact that if you have any little bit of Scottish blood in you, You'll find a clan. You, you can find a clan, yep. A, uh, there are sets of clans, for instance, Monroe might be, uh, it might have three or four sets. Different septs, spellings. So, yeah, and that's yeah, right. Yeah. So, uh, and there are, we'll have probably, I think we'll have 35 or 40 clans representatives there, and they set up their tents and they, they'll talk to you about uh, where the clan is located in Scotland, where uh, the organizations uh, reside in the United States, and you can join if you want to your clan organization and things like that. So it's a cultural event. It's also music, music, it really music. Is. Oh um, my gosh! Yes, we uh, we have a huge tent, uh, the entertainment tent, which also doubles as the beer tent, and uh, it's a great well, event. Well, beer and entertainment <laughs> <laughs> goes together, right? <laughs> it's got uh, great acts coming in there: the Hair of the Dog, McCrells. You got the Brigadoons? Uh, the Brigadoons from Ontario. They've been with us since we started They're 35 wonderful. years They're ago. They're wonderful. They are just great. Yeah. And then if, you, uh, if you've had enough music and you want to walk around, you can bring your kids to the kiddie events. We have uh, hula hoops and musical chairs and uh, to the pipes. And um, we even have little cavers for the kids to try and throw. Mm -hmm. So it's lots of fun for kids. And, and I know that last year they were in something where they could walk and they, <laughs> what was that? The, the giant hamster ball. Was that? <laughs> <laughs> It was a sight, It was a wasn't Scotch it? hamster, I'm sure. <laughs> this ball is about, I don't know, it's probably about 10 feet high, I'd say. And, it is. Uh, and human beings get inside it and start walking, and the ball goes whichever direction And some direction kids are take. very good, and some just kind of roll around on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> that got a lot of, a lot of take. Everybody loved the hamster ball. And uh, let's see, because I remembered that. So now there's free parking. Free parking. And uh, there is a charge to get in, but it's to get pretty in. nominal. Uh, it's... Um, Eight, if you buy your tickets at Price Shopper before tomorrow, before Thursday, it ends tomorrow, um, Wednesday, you can buy them for seventeen dollars if they have the advantage card. If you wait until the day the games, you'll pay twenty-two at the, at the gate. And it's but well that, worth that it with the music and everything. Yeah, else that includes that everything all day long. You don't except have to spend, the food. You get except the food. You yeah. can buy the haggis right, there. That's right. You can buy the haggis. <laughs> I know they have the wonderful little meat pies and oh, a lot of Oh, meat pies bread. and varieties and lots of Scottish yeah, and, desserts. Yeah, shortbreads. Yep, and, yeah, shortbreads and vendors that you can buy. A lot of people do their Christmas shopping here. Yeah. You know, you can buy kilt, bagpipes, and anything in between. Yes, and, and just quickly, your your uh, bag is this, called? This is called a sporn. Sporn. This kilt has no pockets. So when you're traveling around in a kilt and you need to put something someplace, you use your sporn. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Well, that's beautiful. Is that looks like it's real silver. Well, uh, even if it isn't, say yeah, it is. We'll say it is, yeah. <laughs> All right, good. Bill Monroe, always here to, every year to tell us about the Scottish Games. Please do yourself a favor. Go to the Altamont Fairgrounds on Saturday and Sunday, I believe. doesn't start on Friday, does it? No, it doesn't start on Friday. I Saturday, saw on Facebook that your tent is up. Oh, yeah. The big tent. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my up. gosh. Good. It is going to stay up until Sunday night. Uh, and, um, this year, we won't have to contend with the remnants of Irene no. in the beginning right. of the, the second storm. Right. So. Bill Monroe, always a pleasure to have you on the Thank show. You so Thanks much, for Dan. being here. Mm -hmm. Good. We're, we're going to take a quick break, look a little bit more on the Scottish Games. And when we come back, we're going to be talking about the Athletic Hall of Fame. So please stay tuned.
Expressway, from Agent Joe Brady.